Hey guys, so this is one of those topics that is not that commonly discussed, but is really important. Our websites are our livelihoods, and if it ever got hacked, then there's potential that you will completely lose any revenue for that entire period when the website's been hacked. In fact, this happened to a friend of mine last week. He was losing hundreds of dollars a day because his website was hacked, and it was on a weekend, and he contacted his host, and his host wasn't going to be able to fix it until Monday when the people came back to work to fix it. So he was losing money all weekend. It turned out being somewhere in the $500 to $1,000 range. So a few small little tweaks to make sure that you don't get hacked can be really beneficial to you. So here are five tips on what to do to make sure you don't get your website hacked. The first one is to use few plugins and for all the plugins that you do use, make sure you keep them updated. The most common way in which people get into your website is they hack it through the plugins. So get rid of any plugins that you don't need. Have as few plugins as possible and any plugins that you do have, make sure that you have them updated. So you can see here with Auto Optimize, I haven't updated it for a while, so I need to click that Update Now button in order to update, auto-optimize. Those updates are often attempts by the people who create the plugin to plug any potential weaknesses in the plugins to make sure that they're as secure as possible. So make sure you do keep all of your plugins updated. The next one is to do regular site backups. Now most hosts do regular backups. They usually do them maybe once every week. A good host might even do them once every 24 hours. But a lot of people do prefer to have their own backup as well that they've got in their own hands just in case anything happens with the host they also have a backed up copy. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that oftentimes when people hack into your website, they'll place something in the website and they won't activate it for a month, two months, three months later, so that when you revert to an old backup, they've still got their malware placed into your website and they'll just continue to hack and hack and hack at it. So even reverting back to an old version is never the best way to do things. The best way is obviously to make sure that you're not hacked in the first place. If you would like to get your own site backup, so say for example, if your host doesn't do backups or you just need one for your own sense of security, use Updraft Plus. It is a free plugin that you can use and they'll back up your website for you and you can have your backup sent directly to your Google Drive or wherever you have and online cloud-based storage. Okay, the next one is to install WordFence. Now, WordFence is a hugely popular plugin. You'll see it's got millions of downloads because it is the most common way we use to protect our website. Now, WordFence has a really good suite of different things that they do to make sure that you're protected. So just download WordFence. You can see they have four plus million active users. And once you've downloaded it, just go through all of their instructions on how to get it set up. One annoying thing about WordPress is they do have a lot of emails that they send to you. So go into the settings and change the email settings to only get emails when you actually want emails. Because it's just annoying getting an email every single time you log in for them to say, hey, someone just logged into your computer from Vancouver. It's like, well, obviously that was me just then. So just set your email preferences to how you like it so you don't get bombarded with emails from WordFence. Okay, this next one is really important to me because I think it's one of the most secure ways that you can secure your website and that is to use two-factor authentication which is a part of the WordFence suite but it's not activated unless you choose to activate it so head into WordFence and go to login security once you're in login security turn on two-factor authentication you will need a app on your phone for two-factor authentication. I use Google Authenticator. All you'll need to do is WordFence will give you a QR code. You scan the QR code with your phone. And then every time from there on, when you log on to your website, it'll give you this screen here. And you'll need to type in the code from your two-factor authenticator app. So for example, here is what it'll look like with Google Authenticator. You'll just have to take that code and type the code in to the two-factor authentication bar in WordPress. So while that's a little bit annoying, it'll take a couple of extra seconds every time you log in, it does help with added security. Okay, and the next one is another plugin. It is called WPS Hide Login. It changes your login URL. So all these people who are trying to hack into your website, they'll often get their bots to go to your website's name and then forward slash WP-admin because that is the regular portal that most people use to get into their website. But you can use WPS High Login. It's almost got a million users. So it's a really popular plugin. And essentially you can change the login URL. So for example, you can see here that for Niche Safari, instead of nichesafari.com forward slash WP-admin, 
I've changed it to nisafari.com forward slash pizza. So in order to log in, I would need to know that I need to go to forward slash pizza and then type in my code. This by and large will give you less and less bots trying to hack into your computer because they won't be able to find the portal to get access to try and have a go at different potential passwords that you have. Instead, they'll just come to this page. It's just a 404 error. This page does not exist at wp -I -B. Okay, that brings us to the end of the five tips on how to secure your website and make sure you don't get hacked. If you have any other tips, please do leave them in the discussion below so that we can all learn from your knowledge.